four games, four opening drives with touchdowns. Looking back, how do you explain that success? Uh, you know, um, I, I think guys, uh, I, I, I've really appreciated how this group is prepared, you know, and I think uh, every game, I think they've come with a, with a good mindset and had the right mentality and, uh, you know, and made some big plays, you know, and, and uh, you know, been able to cash in, but just got to make sure that continues. <laughs> Like ever script out those first plays, or you kind of wing it as you get in the press box. What's your approach there? Yeah, I mean, I, it's it's a feel thing. I mean, there will be some things that I'll want to pair with others, but because uh, field position changes, gains will change, all that stuff. I kind of just I kind of know what I want to uh, put in some of those, but it'll it'll be kind of a feel thing. What do you see from the Oklahoma State defense? Um, you know, I think. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, number 30 is a really good player, um, really, really good pass rusher, twitchy, great bend. Um, you know, we got to know where he's at, uh, you know, most of the time. Um, you know, and then I think we're going to have to be ready for uh, some of their adjustments and things as they continue to build their, uh, you know, their new style of defense for them, you know, and, and something that uh, we got to be on our toes. And, and fortunately, we've had a lot of experience in this against these type structures here the last couple of years. So just got to be ready and handle handle what they give us. Expect them maybe to use that off week to put in some stuff you haven't seen. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, that's uh, know a couple of those guys, and, and uh, uh, you know they're they're extremely well coached, and, and uh, they're going to respond, and, and we got to be ready to go. Was the UCF game the best response your guys have had in terms of physical play and answering that call? I think it was definitely a point of emphasis for sure, and, and uh, something that's got to continue because I know we're uh, we're capable of that every week, and, and uh, something that uh, is something we're looking to obviously be consistent in for sure. But I was very very proud of them for, uh, in that in that way for sure. How much of an integral part to your offense can Garrett Oakley be now that he's getting out there? No, I, I, he will be. I mean, I think. Uh, uh, being able to again, he 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 moves really really well. He's got good ball skills, and uh, you know I think uh, missed him on the one by a little bit, but um, he'll he'll be able to make some plays for us for sure. What do you get that? What do you guys need to do just a little bit better to get the deep passing game going? Shoot, I, you know I think it's uh, um, uh, you know I, I think it, it's not just one thing. I, I think we if we continue to run the football. Uh, you know that helps, you know, because it makes people, uh, you know, you're able to cause some cause some pain in, in the run game and, and be able to get some things over the top easier. Um, you know, we we have to throw and catch too. You know, we had a couple opportunities last time that uh, you know we're close on, and, and just got to keep taking what they give us, and and, and those shots will come. Um, what kind of road warrior mentality does a team have to have going to Stillwater? Uh, it's it's a it's a tough place to play uh, for sure and and uh, uh, but it's a fun place to play too you know and, and the environment will be great it'll be an evening game and uh, it'll be one they they remember for a long time I know I remember uh, my times there so the the distribution between Trayshawn and, and DJ does it go back to where it was the first three games or might you amend it moving forward. You know, I, I think it'll be a little bit of, you know, how the game goes, you know, but uh, I think it'll be a, a shared load uh, for sure. But what percentage will probably be just how he's feeling and, and how DJ's doing and kind of how the game goes a little bit. You know, every every game sometimes uh, takes it takes shape as it comes differently than even what you plan. So we'll put it together as best we can. And is, is this the healthiest that Keegan's been in a long time? Yeah. Yeah, no, I, he's had a good week of practice, and, and uh, hopefully we get him some space. How much do you think it helped having Christian back in there at right tackle two weeks ago? No, I, I think it was good. I, I, he, he's worked uh, uh, really hard to get himself back, and, and I think we'll, uh, we'll continue to play better and, and get in more of a flow even as, as the weeks and, and reps go. I mean, he was able to play more reps than, than maybe we were initially thinking, uh, you know, in a great way because he was able to do it. But... Uh, uh, again, he's he's got a lot of continuity with those guys, and and uh, he's got a lot of reps banked with all of them. So, going back a little bit, the Missouri game, uh, Philip Brooks with a what is called offensive interference. <clears throat> Excuse me. Did you get an explanation for the 
what was perceived as a pick play? No, no, I, I didn't get uh, uh, I didn't get an explanation. At, at the end of the day, you gotta, uh, to the best of your ability, be you know, be running a route when you're when you're doing those types of things, and uh, you know, I didn't I didn't get an explanation.